I'm just an engineer here, trying to be a, an activist. Air pollution is something that affects us as humans, our lungs, our health. Does anyone know this girl? So her name is Ella Kisideba. She was a schoolgirl that sadly passed away from air pollution. The area where she was living was badly polluted and she was inhaling this, but no one knew that was the issue. So air pollution actually kills people silently without knowing. How do we prevent that from happening again? When you go to school, you see loads of cars parked, don't you? What does that mean? They're idly. Exactly, they're not turning up the engine. If you look at the road outside of the school, especially around this time, pickup time, the road is quite congested. What can we do better to help bring awareness to the people who are polluting our environment? Mindful Droid is the reason you're here today. It's a robot that helps you understand more about air pollution. Here is the sensor. So that would monitor for the air pollution around you. Depending on how bad or how good the pollution levels are, if you can't understand what the sensors are saying, because sometimes it comes in readings, it would come up with an emoji or a picture to say, it's good, it's bad, it's all right. What's interesting is you can put your own things, your own words, you can put it on the display. Currently in our community, the air pollution is really high. It's one of the highest in the city of Bradford. Therefore, the children have been doing work on reducing air pollution in the community already. Using the Mindful Droid and being able to take that, you know, to and from school to monitor air pollution will really help with our projects. The data that's being collected on the Mindful Droid goes to the local authorities like the council, the policy makers, and those people will see how bad things are in the areas you're in. I'm just taking out the outdoor air quality monitor. So when you go home with a mindful droid, this would still be reading the data around the pollution levels. People who have access to it can be able to open source that information. You know, there isn't enough data gathering around pollution levels. And the plan for the mindful droid is to make sure that children in schools can have one for free and they can build one by themselves. You may never know, you might have a cough, you might not know if it's just natural, but you can just ask it, or oh, is it polluted? Might save my life and everyone else's life. So, you said it would be free in school. Yes. So, we're a school, yeah. so can we have it for free? Yeah.